Hold on, hold on. Bring y'all right here. Okay. Cause you know a little bit. You know, this is a. Uh, so the, your pastors in your church won't tell y'all this. He'll tell y'all y'all Gentiles. He'll tell y'all everybody's equal. He won't tell you what the Bible actually really says about the so-called Native Americans and Black people. I'm gonna read a few verses, y'all. I'm gonna let y'all go about today. All right. Do the wrong Yeah, I'm about to go. Well, I'm going to seven to six first. Yeah, make sure you read those scriptures that are on there. It's really pivotal that we come back to a God. This is Deuteronomy 7 and 6. It says, For thou art a holy people. No, no she can't have one. Uh, but thou art a holy people. Holy means separate. We're separate from everyone else. And to the Lord thy God. Thy is a possessive pronoun. The Lord thy God has chosen thee to be a special people. He's chosen us. He showed, that's why I, that's you, the Gentiles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, no, the Gentiles yeah, the are the Jews that the chosen. The, the Gentiles. No, no, we are the Jews. We are the chosen. The Gentiles would be him. So it says, uh, the Lord has uh, to himself above all people that are upon the face of the earth. Now, I didn't write this Bible. I didn't write this book. God said he's going to have a certain group of people that are going to be above everyone else on the earth. Right. What you say, you didn't like that book? No, no, I said I love this didn't book. Write it. I didn't write it. I didn't write this book. So meaning what I'm saying is this book was written 2,000 years ago, right. and it's very specific. It says God has never been universal. God is only dealing with the so-called Native American, Hispanics, right. and black people. And we just read right here that he's going to exhort right. and put his people above the face yeah. of everybody on the earth. So let's read it. I'm going to read a few of these curses. And y'all tell me who and y'all tell me who this is talking about. Alright. And this is they, and y'all humble well, you, for even, you still for even Deuteronomy? Yeah, I'm still in Deuteronomy. And y'all are very humble to even listen to someone bring the Bible to y'all. That's very good on y'all. Y'all got a good spirit on y'all. I'm gonna start yeah, that's what we come from. Uh, praises. I'm gonna start Deuteronomy 28 1. It says it shall come to pass, meaning it's gonna happen. If thou shalt hearken, meaning listen diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God, and to observe and to do all his commandments, which I have commanded thee this day, this day, meaning today in 2024, the Lord God will set thee on high above all nations on the earth. Now, has your pastor ever read that to y'all? Has he ever said if you keep the laws of God, that y'all are going to be above everyone that's on the planet earth? He's never told y'all that. But here, here, okay, let me read y'all verse 15. He tells us, but he tells you just love everyone. Just come there. back in. Yeah, he, he tell, he don't it's tell up you to us to read it. it to, to exactly. It. Con, con, but he's supposed and, to be teaching y'all, telling y'all. Exactly. I'm about to God. So, I'm about to God. so this is uh, 15. I'm about to God. But it shall come to pass, meaning it's going to happen if thou will not hearken, meaning if we don't listen to the Lord thy God, let's read what's going to happen to the people who don't listen to the Lord thy God. To observe and to do all his commandments, his statutes, which I commanded thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Now, how did the black okay. man now how let's did go. the black man get here into America? How did we get here? Well, we're not how did we get here. What mechanism? By what way of travel did we get here? We're by water oh, boat. By boat. Exactly. Yeah. That's in the Bible right here. Let me read Deuteronomy 28 6 eight. It says, And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt. Egypt is synonymous with bondage. If you read that in Exodus. It says, Egypt with ships. Now, no other group of people besides the uh, so-called Native, uh, Native Americans, Hispanics, and Black people have ever been put in slavery in ships but us. I know y'all seen Django. I know y'all seen 12 Years a Slave. I know you've seen Roots. There's no other nation of people who had yokes of iron on their neck right. and was brought here. It's right. only us. Now, let's read right. this. It says, uh, with ships, by the way, whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt be, thou, they shall see no more again. Meaning, we've never seen our homeland again. Since we were brought here, we never been back to West Africa. We've been, we've been cornered here and been working for their system to build up their economy. Now, and there shall, and now what happened when we got off those slave ships? Yeah, so. Perfect. All right, see. And thou shalt see it no more again. And there you shall be sold. One nigga, two nigga, three nigga, four nigga. Sold to Johnny and them over there. That's yeah. what happened to us when we got off those slave ships. It says you, you shall be sold into your enemies. Wait a minute. Oh, God has brother. enemies? So who would be our enemies according to that verse right there? The white man. Uh, the white man. The, or the Chinese man. He's in it. All the people who was trading us and had us in slavery. Those are our enemies according to the Bible. Now I know your pastor never showed you that. No. Now we're reading here that the people who were sold on slave ships, they have enemies. So let's keep reading. And for bond men and bond women, meaning slave women and slave men, no man shall buy you. Martin Luther King wasn't able to help us. Ma uh, uh, Malcolm X wasn't able to help us. Nobody's been able to get us out of this captivity and hellhole that we're in. This ghetto that y'all see on the east, east side, we can go anywhere in America and see this same thing. And it's going to be our people on that thing. Why is that? That's because we are cursed 
gifted by God because we don't keep his commandments. We keep eating pork. We keep uh, we keep celebrating birthdays and we keep celebrating Christmas. We don't. We're not supposed to do that. We have our own high holidays and we got to keep the commandments of God. Now I'm gonna read y'all a few more. And I'm gonna leave y'all alone. I'll thank y'all for letting me sit here and talk, chat with y'all this long. Okay. Now I'm gonna read a few more curses to y'all. Y'all tell me who this, who this fits. This is verse 46, Deuteronomy, the same chapter. It says, and they shall be upon thee for a sign and a wonder and a be and upon thy seed forever. Meaning whatever we read in Deuteronomy 28, we're going to be able to see it on God's chosen people today. So we just read the shit. Let's read one more. It says. Let's go uh, to Deuteronomy 49. Perfect. I'm going to go to 48 and then go to 49. Okay. Okay. 48, okay yeah, so yeah. therefore, this verse 48, therefore thou shalt serve thy enemies. Who owns all the companies that we work for to get money off of? White, Who folks. Owns it? White folks. Okay. Thou shalt serve. Uh. The Lord will, uh, shall send against thee in hunger. So who owns Walmart? Who owns Family Dollar? Who owns right. McDonald's? Who owns all that? We don't know none of that. Ain't none of this ours. So we get all of our hunger from them. We get all of our food from them. Now, and in thirst, who owns the water company? The water bills that we pay our water, our right, water bills to? White right, folks. So in thirst, in, in thirst, we have to go through them to get our damn water. But water is supposed to be coming down free. We got to still get paid to get our water. That's some crazy mess right there. And in want, uh, oh, and, uh, and in nakedness, all the clothes we get, my bad, all the clothes and textiles, we don't own all that. All, they own all the textile mills, they own all that. We don't have anything that's ours that we can go get from our people. We don't have that. It said, and in one of all things, to get a driver's license, to get a death certificate, to die here, you gotta pay to die here. What type of madness is that? You gotta pay to die here. You gotta buy a plot of land, you gotta bear, you gotta pay to do those type of things. So, uh, five, 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 seven. Is that you got to you got to pay out what now that is now one of clearly one of all things we got to pay these people to do these things here that's a curse we're supposed to have our own and be doing our own thing so you can't show me that on any group of people besides us so this is verse forty nine oh hold on wait this is the most important part upon uh and he which one, which one? hold on still forty eight I'm about to get the order um, and he shall put a yoke of iron upon right, their neck right. until you have destroyed it what now who else had a yoke of iron upon their neck right, that's up. That's it, that's it. So, just off those two curses, who is this talking about? It's talking about us. So we got, as we as a people, to get out of the situation, we gotta start keeping commands. You gotta stop eating pork, you gotta stop, you gotta stop, uh, you gotta start loving your brother, you gotta, oh, go ahead, go ahead, brother, what do you think? Hey, Ray! I got you, I'm gonna read verse 49. So we, uh, verse 49, and the Lord shall bring a nation against thee from far. When we, were, when we were in West Africa, those white folks came all the way from here, all the way from England, all the way from Portugal. They, they tried to, to take come, over. No, they, they came and got us. They didn't try. No, they came, they came and, got and got us. us. They came yeah. and got us. Right. So, oh, go ahead. Are you good, King? Go ahead. You're good, King. Uh, look on. And the Lord and, and shall bring thee from far away. And what's America's animal? What's the symbol of America for the animal? The eagle. Perfect. Okay, now, you knew how you knew that. Now, that's documented in the Bible. Right. It says, The Lord shall bring thee against thee, from a nation against thee from far, from the ends of the earth, as swift as an eagle flying. Now, American symbol is the eagle. So we know those people came over here and got us. Now, let's yeah. keep going. It says, In a nation whose tongue thou shalt not understand. When they came over there on them slave ships, we didn't understand Dutch. We didn't understand right. French. Right. We didn't understand English. We, we speak in Hebrew. We speak in our own tongue. So that's what this is going to. So we just read these two verses. And it's pretty clear that we can go ahead and take the white man out of this book. We can take the East Indian man out of this book. We can take the Chinese man out of this book. Because yeah. it's done these curses that the few curses we just read don't even fit them. I don't even understand why we don't know the language that we came here on the boat. It was beat out of us during slavery. That's why when we came up here on the slave ships, they had us naked took everything from us and you seen that part where your name is Tobin when he's beating him he says your name they beat that they beat their they beat their yeah, language beat into their, us yeah. they beat their religion into us and they beat us out of ourselves if that makes sense so basically when I'm coming to you brothers in in this spirit it's just to let you know we got to come back to God you got to start keeping the law of faith y'all right. are gods and kings out here right. okay so God bless y'all all right just know y'all are gods and kings walking this earth. Hey, and we're set above high. We got to keep the laws of God, all right? God bless y'all, all right? You're God a king and God too, walking man. this Thank earth. You, man. Yeah, yes, I sir. needed that, man. Yes, sir. Hey, you're a king and a God. I needed that lift. Yes, sir. Thank you, man. Hey, whenever you say, like, Christ died and whose sins did he die for, you know, who can say? Who was given the law? You know, who can sin against?